In this video, I will be discussing some extra questions of the chapter Ivan's story by Catherine Applegate along with the textbook exercises. Let's start. Question 1. How do we know that Ivan loved his birthplace? Answer. Ivan says it was so beautiful that no artist would be able to reproduce its beauty in his painting. Question 2. Why do gorillas take time to name their babies? Give an example of how gorillas name their babies. Answer. Gorillas wait and watch until they can decide on a name that describes the child. We have the example. Ivan's twin sister loved to chase him around the forest and so they called her Tag as if she were playing tag with him. Question 3. How do we know Ivan loved to play tag with his sister? Answer. Ivan has warm memories of chasing her and of her jumping onto their father when he got too close. They never tired of playing the game, though their father asked them to pipe down when they bounced on his tummy. Question 4. How does Ivan describe his babyhood? Answer. Ivan says he was happy doing the right things searching for food and eating, then napping or playing. Question 5. How was his father a good head of the family? Answer. He was a good protector and provider. He kept them from quarreling and found them the best fruits to eat and the best branches to sleep on. Question 6. List all the baby gorilla learns as he grows. Answer. The baby gorilla learns Number 1. To build a nest by weaving the branches tightly so that they may not fall apart. Number two, to thump his chest loudly by cupping the palms of his hands while thumping. Number three, to move from tree to tree without letting go. Number four, to be kind, strong and loyal to the family. Question seven. What was Ivan's first experience of living with humans? Answer. Ivan lived in Max's house as a human baby, drinking milk from a bottle and sleeping on beds and sitting on chairs like a human baby, but he could not understand human language. It sounded like the buzzing of bees. Question 8. Why would Ivan's parents not approve of the way Mac and Helen were bringing him up? Answer. Ivan's parents would think, that was not the way to bring up a baby gorilla because that would not prepare him to survive in the forest. Question 9. How do we know that even Ivan longed for his wild way of life? Answer. Ivan missed his family and his wild way of life in the forest. He tried not to be depressed like his twin sister for he did not want to become ill. He knew he was well taken care of and yet he could not help missing the companionship with his own kind. Question 10. Why did Ivan teach himself to accept his human way of life? Answer. He realized that was the only way he could survive and so he tried to forget his animal way of life and tried to adjust to his new way of living with human beings. Question 11. Why the last section of the story is called hunger? Answer. Ivan hungered for the warmth of his natural home and fellow creatures. Although he was well fed and taken, taken care of by humans, he was hungry for the love and warmth of his natural home and family. Question 12. How did Mud's father help Mud and Tag? Answer. Mud and Tag's father, the silverback, was everything a father was meant to be. He would lead them to the ripest fruit for their morning feast and the finest branches for their night nest. He was a true guide, a teacher and a protector. Question 13. How did Mac and Helen take care of Mud? Mac and Helen raised him like a human baby. Helen would be amused by Mud but at the same time would get angry if he was mischievous. Mac and Helen drove him to a restaurant every weekend and ordered something for him. They also took him to baseball games, grocery stores, 
movie theaters and even to a circus. They made his life an exciting one. Question 14. I longed for the cheerful grunts of a play fight and the easy safety of my of my nearby troop. How do you feel about Mud after reading his thoughts? Answer. Though Mud the gorilla was very well taken care of, he missed his natural family. It is very difficult to be away from one's family, both for humans and animals. Mud would have missed his natural family and habitat and longed to be with them. Here are the answers of textbook exercises. Answers to finite and non-finite verbs that is in the page number 17 and 18 of your English literature Gulmoha textbook. Let's start with the second number. For number 2A it's to leave that is non-finite. 2B left finite. 2C leaving non-finite. Number 3 3A enjoys that is finite 3b enjoying non finite and 3c to enjoy non finite 4a winning non finite 4b to win non finite and 4c won finite 5a reading non finite 5b reading non finite and 5c to read non finite Answers to phrasal verbs page number 18 and 19 of your textbook Exercise A Answers for exercise A number 1 blew up number 2 blew out number 3 blown down number 4 blows over number 5 blowing about Page number 19 exercise B number 1 watch number 2 play number 3 land number 4 play number 5 watch number 6 land thank you children hope these answers will be useful for you see you in the next video thank you